Hello everyone, my name is Just James and welcome back to the Atomic Craft server. Today it is episode 4 and we are going to be raiding an ocean monument in today's episode. We're going to be meeting up with Graf in a couple of minutes and then heading off to fight the Elder Guardians. Oh, I hear a doorbell. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Oh, good. I'm good. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, come on up here. Um, so, you're ready for this, right? <laughs> um, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I, uh, this is my first yeah. Time, I'll, so. I'll just walk. I'll just walk you through it. Don't worry. Um, so, we need to give you a bunch of potions first because. Uh, they'll really help you out. Right. So water breathing, night vision, swiftness, uh, strength, and invisibility. That should be everything. We'll just stay on the beach for now. Uh, and I'm, I'm just going to put my elytra and my uh, top half in the in the chest over here. So I need to take all this off, right? Yeah. We are going to be using invisibility, so we don't really need anything else. But so first what you want to do is actually like... Uh, Drink the potion of water breathing. Yeah, right, yeah, got that. Then you wanna, yeah. Then you wanna drink the potion of invisibility. All right. Got that. Then you wanna drink the potion of night vision. Yeah, there, right. there it is. Yep. Yep. Let's go. Oh, we're ready. One thing we could do, like we can do that when we are closer to the, to the monument. Uh, we need to basically drink our potion of strength and our potion of uh, swiftness. All right, well, basically. I'm, I'm already here, so I'm going to drink both of them. I'm, I'm yeah, super exactly. excited for this, right? Be careful. Be careful, of course. All right. Um, first things first, we've got to break the top half. Ow. Oh, you've already beaten him up. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. All right. Okay. I got, a, oh, I got an yeah, Elder Guardian head. That's dope. Okay, let's go this way. I think Which the way? other one I'm, is I'm on the other side. I completely lost you, dude. There's another one oh, right here. Oh, he's got his thorns out. That's dangerous. I'm pretty sure. He can't see us, so we should be fine. Don't let him get away. Ow. He's got his thorn. There we go. Oh, oh there's another one. You want it? You can I have thought... this one. Yeah, I, I think I've got it. Oh, no, nice, you have it. Yeah, there you go. Take it. It looks like birch. Wow. Dude, look at me. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is gonna be amazing. like the thumbnail. Yeah, there. Oh, he should him. be here. I see him. Yeah, he's there. He's there. Get here. Take him out. Take him out. Ow. I think he hit be me. careful. I've got sweeping edge. Got him. Nice. Alright, cool, cool. That's right. Okay, I've got a sponge as well. So uh, follow me. Hit. We need to find if there's like an extra room or something. Cause I I hear. Oh, oh. There we go. Sponge there's room. A sponge room. Yeah. All right. What's the uh, best how do you? Tool for this? Oh, we. Uh, we have mining fatigue. We should wait it out, honestly. Uh, let's see if there's like if there's like another another sponge room. Cause if there is, that's amazing. That's like, I don't know how how rare that is, but it's pretty rare from what I remember. Oh my God! There is another sponge room. Wow. Mm. That's that's amazing. That'll help me out when I'm clearing all this uh, all the water. Out, you know, that I, actually I think we did pretty well. Okay. Uh, yeah, you need a prismarine, right? Yeah, yeah, I need I need prismarine for um base. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I found it as well. Uh, this should be the sponge room. Okay, that's the treasure room. Yeah, I found it. All right, I'm oh, getting right. the sponges. I'm getting the gold. Oh, my night vision. Oh, wearing wear it. your armor. Wear wear your armor. Wear uh, your I armor. I don't have it on me. It's in the end chest. Oh, oh no! Okay, oh okay. no! I'm come, with, come to me! Come to me! Come to me! Come to me! Come on! No, I can't come. Where? No, I'm at the, I'm in the treasure room. I'm trying to get to an air pocket. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. in an air pocket. Oh my god. Okay, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Cover. Yeah. All right. Okay. End the chest to the rescue. <laughs> okay, we got a stack and ten sponges. Nice, nice. Wow. We got this many sponges as well. I'd say that's pretty good, honestly. I mean, this was a good session, honestly. I mean, we got some pretty good stuff as well. And do you know what we're going to be doing with that loot? Well, we're going to be finishing off our start base. But before we do that, I actually want to check out Alex's new minigame. Now, this is the second minigame in this district. And 
I'm very excited to see. I really like the use of the trapdoors on his build. But anyway, what is this? The hunting shall start on a chosen day. These travellers are invading our land. They must be stopped. We are in search of a traveller. Bring me as many wandering trader and lamb heads as you can. Whoever gets the most heads shall win. Happy hunting. Quenta, rename a diamond block to your name and place in this barrel. So who's entered? Anarchy, Sharky and Alex. Winner takes all. More rules and more prizes to come. I think, yeah, I'll, um, I'll enter this. I don't have any diamonds in my ender chest, so I guess we'll have to come back over here in a minute. The first plan of action is to place some glass planes all over these little places where I've got my various different farms and things. We're going to have doors in the middle area here, so might as well take this out. And I'll explain why we're doing this in just a little while. Something I've been wanting to do since episode 1 is to place some goals down and because I don't have any plans for this wall anymore, I did initially but I don't anymore, I think this would be a good wall to get them down. Make over 1000 diamonds. Try to be the best business man on the server. Make arms look aesthetically pleasing. So these two are more to do with my diamonds. This one is something I really want to try and improve on. Much of my builds in the past, especially my farms, haven't really looked too good. So I want to try and make my farms look nice rather than just a big mess. For now, I think this is good enough. I might add some more. As you can see, I've left some spaces down here. But for now, this is... This is good enough. What I'm going to do now is build a conduit. But I've actually never used a conduit, so I'm not entirely sure on how you do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a conduit. I'm going to make it underneath the base. And I'm hoping that we can still breathe. And as for the place I'm going to put this conduit, I think I'm going to make use of this room again. I'm going to mine this out and lower this down. So all that's left to do now is to just try to fill room up with water and with that our conduit should now be at full level so the next step of this is to flood my entire starter base this is going to be a painful process but what i think i'm going to start off by doing is getting rid of these doors and letting some water flow in and creating a bigger hole i think a bigger hole this corner would make the whole place look little bit better so i've just come up with this i've placed quite a bit of stone around the entrance and i've actually made the hole a bit bigger now the entrance isn't done i need to texture the place add some cobblestone and bits but it's starting to come along i've got a lot of water logging to do in this place and i've only just realized that but this water will this entire place up anyway as i was saying what we've got to do now is waterlog this entire place we've got to texture the front then i also want to you know bring some sea life in here some sea grass some sea pickles a bit of coral i think it could end up being quite a cool build okay so i've finished waterlogging the entire place i've got these weird little sort of bubble areas here which not sure on what to do it's literally just these bits right here one thing i'm not sure about this design is the last pins that i've gone for so if you guys have got any other suggestions for that then uh, let me know however the next thing to do is find a coral reef now apparently sharky's got some near his base so we're gonna go over there and grab a few sea pickles and some coral here we have it i found a coral reef right next to shark's base so now i'm just gonna go around Gather up some of these sea pickles for the lighting around the base. Oh, this is fancy. Let's see what we get inside of here. Very treasure map. Alright, so we're back at the base and I think it's finally time we start getting some of this sea coral down. I'm not sure about the coral, but I know the pickles will make this place feel like it's being part of the sea i just think if we have a couple of coral blocks growing about the place it could make it look really like it's a natural sort of sea cave that we've sort of built into i'm not sure i'm gonna play around with it i've never used coral in any of my builds but this place is already looking really cool the coral adds quite like a pop to all the browns and the greys that we've got going on and the pickles really do like the place up. i'm finished I hope you guys are excited for the big reveal of what the final base looks like. You ready? Three, two, one, bam. 
I didn't really do much on the inside since the last cut, so this might look exactly the same. As you can see, I've gone round and I've textured the entrance. And a bit on the outside of the entrance as well, I think it still might need a tad bit more work. If you guys have got any suggestions to make this underwater start base look any better, then I'm happy to take them on board. Now, I'm still playing around with it. Okay, so now that the base is finally done and I'm happy with it, I think it's time that we head over to Alex's new minigame and pay for entrance because this... This is looking rather sad, so I could do with the extra diamonds. Now, I know it's not much, and it's a bit of a gamble paying for it. This could go quite a long way into the starts of the 1,000 diamonds, because I need diamonds to buy plots, and I need plots to make shops, and I need shops to make profits. And without diamonds to begin with, there's no... There's, there's no way I can make any shot. So if we just place down my wallet and take the diamond block out, then suppose if we place this in here, and all we need to do is enter our name in. Just James. Um, has anyone else signed up? No. I guess it's us three now then. So on the topic of diamonds, I think we'll go over to check out our profits. So what's this? We gave you clothes. It wasn't family friendly. Whoever's wrote this, I mean, thank you. I think my uh, employer was getting rather cold. Anyway, let's check out if we made any diamonds. No. I really thought we'd start selling by now. Also, while we're here, I thought we'd go over here and um, check out this new iron shop. Apparently, this has better prices than graphs down there. Now, I think I'm going to buy two stacks of this. This will actually go towards me making some diamonds. By going towards our first beacon, I'm going to head over to the nether. So, I've found my way to the nearest nether portal. I'm going to try and find some wither skeletons. Hello everyone and welcome to today's time lapse chat. Firstly, I just want to apologise, this isn't the best time lapse and it's simply because later in the video I say we're going to do a time lapse and the file got corrupted but I needed a time lapse in today's episode because I want to speak to you guys about a few things. So the other night I actually did my first YouTube live stream on the Java Edition Minecraft and it's fair to say it went pretty successful and I'm very happy about the positivity on the stream and the support on it and all the feedback I was getting, but one piece of feedback has stood out from all of it, and it was to create a community discord for the viewers. Now, originally we was planning on having a community chat on the Patreon, but as things stand, we are currently going to change that so that you guys can have more interaction with the creators on the server. Also, again, I just want to thank anyone that did tune in onto the stream. I want to thank Kieran for this piece of advice. He tuned into my live stream the other night. But anyway, guys, let's get back to the video. And about 101 kills later, we finally got all three with skeletons goals. Well, I say that, I had to buy one. He's plugged himself, so congrats on that. Anyway, we're going to go kill the wither now, and I hope it all goes well. So, I don't really know if this is what I'm meant to do or not. I hope everything goes fine. Three, two, and one. And we have got wither's head. And the nether star. So what I want to do now is place the beacon down. Now I've got it. We've got his two in that top right hand corner. And I think it's time for a third person time lapse. But of course it's not because with my luck the past few weeks, as I've previously said, this file got corrupted. Oh, that is, that is not good. I was at the ender ender and I forgot to equip my elytra. So I jumped into the void willingly and I have died. So I guess what I'm going to do is show you the diamonds we got from this amount of work. I didn't do too much because I had to go repair my uh, pickaxes and obviously I died. So we've got these pieces of stone in here but we managed to get 37 diamonds, so about half a stack. And unfortunately... We're going to have to spend all these on replacement equipment. Now, I checked my end boosting chest and it wasn't too great what we had in there. So, I guess what is main priority right now is making sure that all my armour is protection for... So where is my protection for village? I thought I had one. Ooh, right, at least we've got an efficiency 5. All right, so this is what I've got. I've got a whole bunch of efficiency 5 mending books alongside some... Fortune 3 books, looting 3, silk touch. I'm gonna have to do the rest off camera. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I hope 
all of you guys have enjoyed this video if you have then please make sure you hit the like and also check out the patreon things are going to be changing on the patreon i probably mentioned that in the uh, previous time lapse however that's it from me so i'll see you all later bye